I S U P K. Hey, Salam, man. It's Priest Kevin in Doha with the I S U P K. And the Commander Johnny Yahana in California, man. It's like all blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Subscribe to this channel, man. You want true salvation? You gotta learn from the priests and prophets of the I S U P K, man. Subscribe to that channel. Hit that button, man. And it's there with that. Salam. All I ever wanted was to be a gangster. Little did I know I was in danger. Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I ever wanted was to be a gangster Little did I know I was in danger Decisions that I made provoked the Lord's anger Pray to him all the time, but I was just a stranger All I wanted was to be a gangster And shot call To be known with them niggas letting shots off Either that or the right hand to the top door Funny how we see vanity and not the lives lost Can't be focused on a life that's hopeless Out there pumping, not knowing the Lord will kill you for that hocus pocus Used to roll with niggas that cook dope with weaponry Same ones claim they love you, I had your life in jeopardy And I know my mother won't success for me But that G should take a girl straight to ecstasy In 2019 Black people in Hispanic and Native American Indians should not be following any of the doctrines or holidays of these oppressors, of these conquistadors. We should not be doing that. You understand? Give me Mark 7 and 7. You understand? Out in California, out in California, in Orlando, California, some brothers rented out an Airbnb mansion and it only turned, dirt, turned, uh, turned deadly where four people got killed and many others injured. You understand why? Because we in the spirit of America celebrating these holidays, Halloween and all that. Halloween has nothing to do with black people. You understand? Mark 7 and 7. Mark chapter 7, verse 7. Now understand, this is Jesus Christ, the black man in the Bible, white woolly afro, dark skin. Not this, one, not this image that we're so used to in grandma's house and in the churches right there in front of the speaker, but the real Jesus Christ had an afro, and this is his words. Here, read it again. Mark where? Mark chapter 7, verse 7. How be it in vain do they worship me? Understand? That's the church. Christ asks, How be it do they worship me? In vain do they worship me? Meaning, they worship in the church, in the Christian church, in, in, the, in the Catholic church, in any other religion, is useless, is worthless. It means nothing. But they worship him for not. You understand? Why? Because these leaders up in the church don't really worship the Lord. Don't really do what Christ say to do. They really do what America say to do. They really do what our oppressors say to do. Keep reading. Teaching for doctrines, the commandments of men. See that? And that's the problem. That's what we get in church. They teach for doctrine the commandments of men. What are some of these commandments of men? That God loves everybody. That Jesus is going to save everybody. That it's okay that for, for the children's sake to celebrate Halloween, to celebrate Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's, you understand? To do an Easter, Easter um, egg hunt, you understand? To have one of those, what do they call those things in church? Well, um, when they, when, they, when they go out in the field, whatever, I forgot the, the term, to do all that. None of that is in the Bible. If anything, God hates Halloween. God hates these holidays. God hates the doctrines of men. You understand? God don't like any of that. Is that the end of it? Go ahead. Verse 8. For laying aside the commandment of God. See that? If you're a black, Hispanic, and Native American Indian, one thing that we should know and understand is that this Bible was not written for everybody. And in this book, it's only written for us, the blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians. And in this book, there are certain rules and regulations that we must use to govern ourselves. You understand? Not the commandments of men, but the commandments of the Lord. But once again, if we're in church, we set aside the commandments of the Most High. Read. Ye hold the tradition of men. That's the problem. We're holding the traditions of men. Halloween is a tradition of men. You understand? Halloween and Christmas and your birthday and Mother's Day and all these American holidays, all these holidays that our slave masters told us that it's okay to do, 
it's traditions of men. And because we following after the traditions of men, we end up killing each other, just like it was in Orindo, California. A Halloween party turned deadly. That's nothing new. That happens all the time up in the ghetto and on the reservations and in the barrios. The reason why is because we're following the traditions of men. This ain't our tradition. These holidays are American traditions. You know what I'm saying? Our heathenistic traditions, not the traditions of the people of the Bible. If you on this list here, if you a black man, a Hispanic, a Native American Indian, these traditions are, our, our traditions, excuse me, is found in this book, you understand? And the only way to, to know about this is get the hell out of the church. The right. church will keep us serving our oppressors, you know what I'm saying? Following after their traditions. Keep reading. As the washing of pots and cups. Saying like they washing, like they doing the dishes, go ahead. And many other such like things you do. What? That we, this is how we following after Halloween and all the other traditions. We do it like, we do it faithfully, just like after you have dinner, you go wash the dishes, right? It's common sense, right? You have dinner, you do the dishes to have clean dishes for the next uh, moment that you need it. Well, when we celebrate Halloween, when we celebrate birthdays and Mother's Days and Christmases and Thanksgiving, we're doing it faithfully, you know what I'm saying? Just like the way we do you, we do our dishes. You understand? After a meal, read. Hey, he said it to them. Drop that right there, brother. Let's get to um, Psalms. Psalms, if I, if I could, you understand? We're gonna go to the 36th chapter, and we're gonna start at the first verse, you know what I'm saying? Like black people in the Hispanic and Native American Indian, listen, brothers, listen, sister, we got to stop following after the traditions of America because of the traditions of America have been established off the enslavement of the, the Lord's people, which is you, black man, and you, Hispanic, and you, Native American Indian. That's how, that's the traditions of the United States of America. You understand? It's something that we can never see clearly if we keep being involved with the American way of life, man. America has not been a dream, a wonderful dream. I don't know about you, black man, but you have, we got to come to realization that America hates you. America hates blacks and Latinos and Native American Indians. Don't be fooled about with them smiles. Don't let the, don't let the, 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 the oppressor smile in your face and act like he friendly. You know what I'm saying? That's the one you gotta watch the most. The one that smiles in your face and pats you on your back. The only reason why he's patting you on your back is because you're a good pet. You know how you got a pet and you, and you pat them and, 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 and do like this to their hair? Well, guess what? Blacks and Latinos and Native American Indians, we're the pets of America. You understand? We're the, we're the mascot of America. You understand? You don't really love a mascot like the way you love your children, don't you, right? You don't love a mascot like the way you love your parents, do you, right? You don't love a mascot the way you love your race, right? That don't happen. You might have some type of caring for them, but you know for sure that mascot is not equal to you. You understand? We, we can't be fooled because with the little gifts that they give us, man, that mean nothing. Slavery, the price of slavery is far more worth a payment, a payment that in a, this society they're not going to pay for. Not yet, at least. Not until a black man by the name of Jesus Christ come and bring real justice to black people. So we had Psalms, the 36th chapter, and we're going to start at the first verse. Read. Psalms, chapter 36, verse 1. The transgression of the wicked. Now who's the wicked, right? The wicked mainly is talking about our oppressors, our, the, the, the European, you know what I'm saying? The white man who's the devil of the Bible. That's the wicked, but guess what? Who else is wicked? Our leaders. Anybody that saw Uncle Tom wanting to side with our oppressors, you the wicked also, because you want to do what he does. And the proof of that is let's go back, we're gonna hold that there. Let's go back to our king, a black man by the name of Jesus Christ. Give me John 8 and 44. Here's the proof of it, you understand? Some black people think they white. I'ma tell you what it is, brothers. Some Latinos swear up and down they white. Some Native Indians swear they white. They swear that they're the slave masters. I'ma keep it real, you understand? I know it's harsh, I know it's rough, you know what I'm saying? But we gotta keep it real here in this corner. Read. John chapter eight, verse 44. Now for the sake of people thinking in their mind, man, these guys are making it up. Well, flip this book around. 
flip the book around. I want them to see those red letters so they can understand these words right here, written in red, was written, was said by a black man named Jesus Christ. It wasn't said by that Scooby-Doo, that shaggy looking character from Scooby-Doo right there. But a black man who loved black people, who loved Latinos, who loved Native American Indians, is letting you know something about our disgusting leaders. Read. John chapter 8, verse 44. Ye are of your father the devil. Now I feel that for a second. A black man telling other black leaders, you are your father the devil. Christ know that the Romans, who are today's conquerors, who is the slave masters, are the devil, meaning they're the deceivers, they're the lies, they're the ones that told us that Halloween was a safe holiday, that Christmas, that a fat man come down the chimney, that it's okay to have a turkey on Thanksgiving, that they discovered America. That's what the word devil means. It means a deceiver or a liar. And for sure we see the lies of them that have enslaved us. Now you are your father the devil. He's talking to other black leaders that you just like these Caucasian people. Breathe. And the lust of your father ye will do. Why? Because the oppressor is a lust-filled monster. He wants to gobble up every damn inch of the earth for himself, all in the name of good business. It was good business to enslave God's chosen people. It was excellent, you know what I'm saying? On the Wall Street market, cotton was sold on the enslavement of black people. Tobacco, um, sugar cane, all the commodities were sold on the backs of Latinos and Native American Indians and black people. It's just good business in their mind because they are a, a unempathetic, lustful monsters. And when we have leadership who are just like them, they are a failure to black society. Read. He was a murderer from the beginning. Just like that, I'm gonna tell you, our oppressors have always been a murderous monsters, man. If you don't believe me, well then go to your Facebook, go to your page and watch some videos where you have um, oppressive police, right? A European police body slamming 11 year old black sisters on the ground, beating up old sisters, you know what I'm saying? bringing up false charges right on camera, murdering some of us right on camera. Why? Because from the beginning, this beast has been a murderer and a fugitive, you know what I'm saying? And if you were leader of the blacks and Hispanics and Native American Indians siding with the Americans, you too are a murderer. And look at the ghettos, look at the reservations, look at the barrios. It's in desolation. It's in a state of emergency. Who the hell is saying anything about it, huh? Is T.G. Jakes, Creflo Dollar saying the goddamn thing about it? No, no. Is Farrakhan saying anything about it? No. Ain't no black leader or Latino leader or Native American leader fixing anything up in the barrios or in the ghettos or in the res. 2019, and we still in that state, that same state. Something wrong with the leadership. Something wrong with our, our the ones that rule over us. They love too much the oppressor, man. They love America. Black people, it's time to start loving black people. That's right. When I say black people, that includes your brothers, the Latinos. That includes your brothers, the Native American Indians. Black people, it's time to start loving black people again. Read. Trying to find something to follow Hand loyalty, every man tried to borrow Felt pain and a lot of sorrow Got betrayed so packed I didn't even have my heart broke Living confused, about to lose hope Cops got me on the side of the road Like a sideshow, need an antidote before I croak Now I'm setting fire to rhythm man blues Call this guitar smoke Rebel with no cause, trying to find direction The world got me vexed Picked up a bad lick of habit that's already turned from oppression Felt like my life was on fire trying to find an exit Now look, 10 G's plus a good wreck Sometimes a follower is a soldier Trying to find a good shepherd Plus when you in hell, how do you excel? Wisdom the breath of life, I don't believe in fairy tale. Listen well to what I tell No calling can cause pain Something that a rebel knows very well
Can't you tell I was sent from the Lord? Got a tongue like a two-edged sword.